hello everyone welcome to knowledge extension so in previous video we had see that uh, how to call fragment from an activity directly and by the button click okay so now in this video we will see how to pass parameters or we can say that how to pass the data from one fragment to another fragment okay there are some cases uh, in that uh, you have to pass all your values like a username or password okay so let's start this is our activity uh, and this is our fragment and this is our design of that first fragment so here I'm doing some changes uh, I'm using the edit text to get data from the user so user will simply enter his username so this is uh, our edit text I am doing some initial changes here okay so this is our username edit text so I'm changing this ID okay and uh, just removing this text and I'm using the hint so user will easily understand what should be the enter okay so now I'm going to take this button so when uh, user enter his username after that he have to click on this button this is my button ID and text will be like this submit okay so for the click event uh, just mention this line that is on click listener like this okay so we done with this so now I'm creating the view object here now make the return statement here like this okay so now we have to initialize our edit text and our button so I'm creating the edit text object here that is username and for the initialize purpose I'm creating a method init method here like this in this method we will initialize our edit text and our button for initialization just write our edit text variable name and root view dot find view by id r dot id and here you have to mention that your edit text id i will show you so this is our edit text id okay similarly we have to initialize the button also so this is our button and this is our button ID so take a button here okay. in this method similarly we have to initialize it ok so we are using the click listener so you have to implement that on click listener 
for implementing you just need to implement that on click listener like this implement on click listener and just add that methods okay as you can see here you have to initialize that on click listener this so whenever user get uh, user click on that button this method will be get call okay so here i'm uh, creating another fragment that is a second fragment i'm changing this name to second fragment so we can easily recognize it it is okay so this is our second fragment here also i'm doing some initial changes again return statement will be here okay so this is our design part i'm using constant layout because it is uh, very easy to uh, handle the uh, objects here you can use anything uh, if you comfort with another layout you can use it okay so i'm just using this because of the indication that it is our second fragment so i'm writing this this is my second fragment okay so another thing is that i'm using another text view here Uh, because when we get the data from previous fragment we need to show that data in this fragment in this text view object so i'm just uh, using the text view okay so change this id get username okay so this will be our text view id i'm just removing it so as you can see there is a no text in this text view i'm just increasing the size of this text view okay that's enough so again we have to initialize this text view so create one a well object for this get username and you can initialize it here also like this root view dot find view by id and in that you have to mention that text view id here okay so we done this part okay so back to the first fragment so in the on click method we have to create uh, another method that when the user enter data in user numeric text and click on the button it will pass to this fragment this is our second fragment okay so that's why uh, we need to create a method in this on click listener firstly we have to identify that this button get clicked okay so for that purpose just make a condition here that uh, if v dot get id is equal to is equal to that button id means when user clicked and that id will be match with the button then only this method will be call okay so this is our button id so our code will be here so i'm using the bundle 
to pass that data from this fragment to another fragment so create a variable like this but dull and when we get that uh, username we have to store that username firstly okay so i'm using the string to store that uh, username string my username is equal to our edit text dot get text to string so in this string we will store our username okay so here we have created that uh, second fragment object here and in the bundle we put our string with the key okay so username is our key and my username is our data which uh, we will get from our edit text okay and uh, simply here we have to pass that bundle and call our fragment okay so this is our container id i have to mention here and just pass the fragment object here you can see in this fra fragment object we have set the arguments with the bundle and bundle content our data okay so in the second fragment we have to check that uh, how we are getting or not so here also we have to create a bundle get arguments okay so here i am using the string variable to collect the data from this bundle i am checking this data my username by using the key which i have previously defined in the first fragment so this is our key that is a username so i am using this key and i will get my data in my string okay so this string i need to set with with the my text view so this is my text view in the second fragment and this string will be goes here okay fine so uh, we, we have done so just run your project okay and see what will be the happen our project uh, successfully debug and here i need to enter my username okay this is my username and click on the submit button so here you can see that my username is successfully passed from the first fragment to the second fragment okay similarly we will pass the integer also i am creating this for string now i am passing the integer for that purpose similarly you have to pass your integer with the bundle so type this bundle dot put int in previously we are using string now our object is uh, our data is in integer format so i am using the int here you have to mention the key uh, suppose i am sending the my mobile number so my key will be the mobile and comma here will be your data data it can be like uh, one two three four five any integer here okay so in the second fragment you need to capture that your integer so i'm using the int here mobile is equal to bundle dot get now here will be the int get int not a string because i'm passing the integer and i'm getting that integer value so here get int and uh, mention here your key what is our key that is a mobile so just enter this key okay and i'm showing this my mobile in that previous text view okay so at the end output will be 
your username plus your mobile number okay like this so we done this so now check it okay okay I'm entering my username and just submit it okay so here guys we have successfully got our data from previous fragment so it is very simple steps hope uh, uh, this will help you for you and uh, you like this video so thank you guys thank you so much and please subscribe this channel for more videos thank you